I'm Dr. Vincent Pasquale from NSI, and um, you know, when it comes to diabetes, I'm extremely passionate about diabetes and the work that we do for that condition uh, for a lot of reasons, but uh, you know, it comes from really my background. Um, I grew up in an environment where we ate pasta for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I mean, I'm Italian American, and as a result, all of my grandparents died of end stage diabetes. You know, I watched that take place. I've never, I never met them when they were healthy. They were always sick, you know, while I was a kid. Uh, and, it, you know, they didn't forget to go to their doctor, they didn't forget to take their medication. Um, and as a result, they, they continued to develop complications associated with that disease. And, and I saw that and I said to myself, you know, there's got to be a better way, there's got to be something else we can provide for that condition because what we're doing is not promoting long-term change. And, you know, that's, that's really what I would appeal to all the diabetic patients that I meet or that I treat is essentially, look, 95% of diabetics who just manage their diabetes with medication, they'll suffer end-stage complications. That's what the literature is telling us. And here's why, you know, medication is just designed to palliate symptoms. Diabetes is a complex metabolic disorder. It's not just glucose and A1C. There's lots of other things going on. And as a result, if we remain in that physiology and just manage the glucose levels with medication, you know, it's gonna damage our body and we're gonna create things like strokes and heart disease and Alzheimer's, dementia, you know, neuropathies, retinopathies, kidney disease, limb amputation, early death, poor wound healing, all of these things can occur. So, you know, when we're, talking about diabetes and what we do for these individuals in our country, in the United States, um, what are we really providing? Is there a quality of life in the services that we are providing? And the answer is no. Um, the way that we address diabetes on our end and the way that we can be successful in addressing diabetes and achieving health long term is that we don't focus on the diabetes. You know, we focus on the future. It's not about regulating you. It's about changing your environment. Now, yes, we have to make some changes in you and we have to pull you from a period of crisis. You know, that's our job. And that's why stem cell therapy can be so effective in healing and regenerating tissue, changing your physiology. But we also have to do other things. You know, we have to retrain you. We have to change your physiology um, from an environmental perspective. And if we can do that, we can save your life. But at the end of the day, we have to teach you what to do long term as well. You know, it's really important that you consistently follow the path that we lay out for you because yes, diabetes can come back. A lot of people would say I have a genetic predisposition for diabetes, but what I'll tell them is I'll never develop it. It's because I have good habits. It's because I have discipline and I know how to control my health and I want the same for you. So this process in terms of what we provide is not just about reversing your diabetes in terms of the work we do, but it's also empowering you to achieve health for life. So when we're talking about diabetes um, and how we treat it in terms of medication, because that's really our primary go-to, the only resource we have for diabetes at this stage of the game is providing medication to control glucose levels. So what I'll, what I'll suggest is, um, you know, look, think about it in these terms. Think about two ponds, and they're just ponds that exist out in your backyard, you know, like fish ponds with nice plants and those types of things. And they're both about the same age, and over the course of about five years, one pond gets lots of toxic runoff, it gets, acid rain, you know, people dump garbage into it, and ultimately it receives lots of toxicity in terms of things that go into that ecosystem. The other one is completely pristine. You know, it, it, it's allowed to exist in a pristine environment. Now both ponds, they may look the same for a long period of time, for a period of five to 10 years, they look exactly the same. But essentially, once we reach a certain point in terms of the aging process, then essentially one is gonna look much worse than the other because of all the toxicity that goes into it. Now, is the solution to dump more chemicals into the pond to clear it up, to make the water more blue, to uh, you know hold the plants up with tiny little sticks so that they look healthy? Does that make sense to anyone? I don't think so. You know, for the most part, that's what we do with human being. When we have a metabolic condition like diabetes, Remember that our body is an ecosystem of cells. We're not a thing. We're an ecosystem of cells with lots of different systems. So if we think in those terms, it makes total sense that dumping more chemicals into an already sick ecosystem isn't gonna provide a long-term benefit. And that's exactly what we see with medications for diabetes. A better example is removing the real pathology, which is the environment, taking the toxicity out of the equation and then helping an individual heal that's how we can overcome that disease. It's not rocket science.